not doing it. I'm, no. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I am Morgan Chin. I am currently a student at Georgia Tech HCI program, and I am a UX designer. So today, I thought I would show you a day in my life as a full-time graduate student and a full-time intern. I'm interning right now at Cisco Rocky, and I'm in school and working on my master's thesis project. So I thought I would show what that day looks like. Today is one of the busiest days for me. Um, it's a Monday and I have a lot of meetings, I have class, I have a lot of things to do. So I thought that might be fun to show. So um, yeah, you're gonna come along with me. I just woke up and started getting ready. And now I am going to go on to the next thing. Here we go. Okay, so I just finished getting ready, like brushing my teeth and all that great stuff. And now, Chris, my husband's home today. He's normally at work. So yeah, this will be fun fighting over the office. Okay, but anyways, I'm finished uh, getting like ready. And so, so the next thing that I typically do is my Bible study. I am kind of taking the approach of like studying different themes that I wanna learn about or that I'm interested in. So I'm focusing on how Jesus um, shared about the gospel, spread the good news to other people. And the reason why I am studying this is because I feel like sometimes people share about their faith or share about Jesus in a way that's not kind, it's not loving, it's not patient. It's not empathetic at all. It's very like, this is the truth, make a decision now. And I just felt like kind of off about that. And in this study, I'm learning that that's not actually how Jesus did it, which is really interesting. So I'm learning how he shared his faith in a very like patient, loving, hey, this is what I know, think about it <laughs> type of way. Um, and it's really interesting. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then, yeah, I'm probably gonna eat breakfast after that. Okay, so the dishwasher's on. Sorry if it's a little loud. But I just finished my Bible study and now I'm going to eat breakfast. Good thing about my husband being home is that he makes breakfast. Yay! Ah! So I'm gonna eat it. What I'm about to do now is I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager and we typically meet every Monday. Um, first thing for me, cause I'm on the East Coast and they're on the Pacific Coast, so it's probably first thing for her too. But we talk about um, anything that I need to talk about, if I need support about anything, if I have any blockers. Um, I make sure to share the things that I did in the past week which I think is super important with you being remote because your manager can't like physically see you working and know what you're doing. I make sure to share my tasks that I've been working on. Um, and we have a shared one-on-one -on -one doc that we, we keep track of different action items, things that I'm supposed to do, um, any questions I have, any action items she gives me, any that she has for me, um, as well as next topics, things like during the week I might think of that I want to add for next week. Um, and then I take notes in my notebook here, as you can see, which is full. Um, I need a new page because I have a really bad memory, right? Okay, so in addition to this doc, I'm also writing down what I'm hearing her say um, in my words because she makes these notes on the meeting so that I know what I need to do. And then I like might go in and add it to my Asana, which I can show you guys in a second. Um, and that's how I keep track of my work. So. I'm gonna go to my one-on-one -on -one now and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, so I just finished my one-on-one. -on -one. It was really good. Um, we just talked about some ideas that I have, um, things I found in my competitive analysis so far, and she gave me some things to do around that, um, some people to talk to, reach out to. I also talked with her about feedback for the retro that we do every two weeks on Friday. Since I'm kind of new to it, she asked me my point of view about it. And I'm new to retros in general, so I thought that was really interesting. 
and I have another meeting now. So let's see what it is on my calendar. Okay, wait, it's asking for a password and asked me if I'm the host and I'm kind of nervous. Um, let me just make sure I'm supposed to be on this. Okay, maybe I don't have to go to this. Let me ask my manager because I don't have a time and I do not want to jump into somebody else's meeting. That's really awkward. And let's see what she said. It's optional. Okay, so I don't need to go to that meeting. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna make lunch. And my husband's here today, which he normally is not here. And so I want to be sure that I feed us. Okay, so now I am going to make some lunch because I'm really hungry and uh, walk my dog, which should be interesting because it's snowing outside and freezing. So that'll be fun, but he needs the fresh air. I need the fresh air midday. Um, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and do that and let's get going. I'm up and I'm gonna let him out now because he's been in here for long enough. So yesterday we ordered pizza. I don't eat cheese. So yes, this is pizza without cheese from Papa John's. And I think I'm gonna heat that up in our toaster oven. So let me do that. So I'm not super hungry yet. So while that heats up in the toaster oven, I am going to walk Coda outside. So I'm gonna put on my layers and walk him. Here he is. Can't really see him, but he's laying. And we're gonna get ready to go outside. And then I'll feed him when we get back because it's also his lunch time. And we'll see how it goes. It looks like everything is frozen. So hopefully we don't fall on our butts. That would be really bad. But we'll see um, how long we'll last out there. I'm gonna go ahead now and put on my layers so that we can get going. Okay, we're back. And I put on this little hat and the super dry hoodie, um, some tights, and uh, I'm gonna put on another coat and scarf and we're gonna go. Um, we moved from Atlanta to here in Maryland in like uh, October, November, and we're moving again over the summer to summer that doesn't get a lot of snow, so we didn't wanna spend too much money on winter stuff, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're just using what we have. And yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go walk and ignore my messy kitchen back there. Sorry. Yeah, so let's go. All right, as you can see, he's ready to go. He's got his sweater on, it's pretty cold. Okay, it's raining. I'm from the South and I'm out here in this weather and I probably am crazy. Come on, Coda. I'm gonna walk really slow so I don't fall and die. That would be really bad. That. <laughs> All right, and we're back. And finished lunch, finished walking Koda, and now I'm gonna get back to work. Also, the midday walk really helps, even if you don't have a dog, if you're falling asleep. I get starting to get sleepy sitting in here all day. Um, so it's good to get up, get some fresh air, let it hit your face, wake you up, move around, and now I'm gonna get back to work. So here we go. And now he doesn't want the sandwich I offer him. <laughs> you gonna eat the sandwich? I don't know what to do now. Eat the sandwich. Oxtails? For lunch? You're gonna go right back to sleep with the oxtails. You have to eat light. What did you think we were gonna have? This is my sandwich. <laughs> Who does he think he is? I don't know, that's Coda. Who does she think I am? You can get down. Oh. Get out of here! You're not even supposed to be in here! All right, so we're back at it. I like to try to look at the time that I have on my schedule and figure out what I can get done in that time. So realistically, I have from now to class and even through class, I'm a TA, I'm not actually in the class. I just have to be there. So I'll probably work through that too um, and have it up on my computer. And yeah, so I think I'm going to work through these action items first. Um, messaging these different people my manager told me to reach out to and then I will come back because I'll need to go to my competitive analysis and I want to talk to you guys about that.
Also, if you see me dancing, it's because I like to listen to music when I'm working. Um, it helps me focus. And I don't like, I don't know if it's just me, is it you guys too? I don't like too much quiet. So, yeah. I'm gonna play some music. Playlist. So apparently Coda wants to do some work too. Yeah, I know. Thank you for your help. So I said I would show you guys my Asana. Sorry for the yellow screen, but I changed it because it hurts my eyes. But um, so here it is. I have like one for my master's project I'm working on. Um, I'm on the graduate council at, um, in the HCI program and on the media team. Um, I'm a TA for EdTech, so I keep that stuff here. This is my visual communication class that I love and my visual culture and design class. I have it broken into readings and assignments, which is really helpful when I come here because mixing it all in together gets a bit confusing. But the wonderful thing about this is, let me see if I do a task, it didn't do it. No. Okay, well, I'll uncheck that. But like typically if you check off task, yeah, there we go that unicorn flies across it's so wonderful the screen and so i absolutely love that um it's so exciting and it comes to your phone which is great so when i wake up i already have notifications about the things that are due today which is great from the phone app okay so now i actually have um, the class that i ta for i'm gonna um log on to that in a few minutes and i have to kind of just be there sit and listen um if there's any questions in the chat, answer them. Um, and yeah, so I will be there listening to that, um, doing some work on some other things that I need to get done for my internship and kind of listening to class, jumping in and out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so this was my midpoint presentation. Um, my master's project is on making a virtual reality tool for students in elementary school to learn about fossils, um, make observations and inferences, and um, that's why it looks like it's for kids, because <laughs> it is. Um, and so we have to do this final paper, um, technical paper, like 30 to 40 pages, along with our project and a presentation. And so it's due the last week of classes in April and I'm starting to work on it now because it's pretty long. Um, this is not my final title page, but I just put something there for the space. So these are all of the different things that we have to include. Um, if you're interested, when you come to the HCI program at Georgia Tech in your second year, this is what you have to do. And um, you spend the whole year working on this project um, and you're kind of now summarizing the whole year's worth of work. And so and this is what I have. <laughs> and everything else is this is for my midpoint presentation but it, it's just random stuff so I kind of put this in another video my approach to writing is like I just lay out my outline and then I kind of jump around so I'm starting up here but um, when I start to get a brain fart or I'm not sure what to write um, probably jump down to my design research um, and research activities because I know that off the top of my head and it's all in this like midpoint powerpoint over here that i did um yeah so that's kind of what i'm working on while i am listening to class i just finished my ed tech class and got a little bit of writing done and i am going to have a little bit of snack before i keep going because i'm hungry so yeah let's see what I can get here in our handy dandy pantry. It smells like burning biscuits in here. Oh, not burnt. Okay. I just finished my snack and 
Now, what I'm going to do is work on my competitive analysis. I'm gonna hook it up to this computer because I need a bigger screen so I can see um, and talk you guys through a little bit of what I am doing. Uh, so here we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what I am doing. I have set my computer up to this screen so that I can see because this screen is kind of small and it hurts my eyes. Like, does it hurt y'all's eyes staring at the screen all day? I don't know. That's the thing I don't like about this work from home is I get tired of staring at the screen and not having a break. So I like eat snacks and try to escape outside. But um, basically the product that I'm working on is a secret, but it is some new thing that Cisco Meraki is doing and I'm really excited to be working on it as an intern um, and designing for it. But I have to kind of look at what other people are doing in the competitive analysis and then from there I'm doing brainstorm. So last week I did a lot of competitive analysis. I was able to look at different companies, um, get their products, um, pros, cons, many different things, um, their app, their dashboard, and kind of put it all in one document. And so now I'm really going in and digging into the UX patterns of like, when I press this, why does it take me here? When I swipe this, why does it do that? Like, why would they put this here and not there? Why would they use this type of language? You know, why do they choose to hide this information and show this information? So I'm looking at those things to think about maybe why they might have done that. Um, so in, I guess what we can learn from that in this project that I'm working on, and then I have to put that into a presentation. So I had to present to my team um, the competitive analysis that I did and what I learned. And I finished off last week, I finished looking at all the products as I can see here. And I also even found some nice like infographics for what I'm trying to do, just some good examples. So. Now I'm gonna go in and look at UX patterns and start to see what I can dig up there. And it is about 4.19, not about, that's what time it is. And I have a meeting now with my manager and mentor and we're gonna do some planning, which I really enjoy, but we're basically planning out my sprint for the next two weeks. What am I gonna be working on? What am I gonna be designing? What should I have done? Which is really great because I love deadlines, okay? It really helps me know like what's going on. Um, it's really helpful for me. And sorry, it's snowing again. So I'm looking at the snow because it's been snowing on and off for like two days now. But anyway, but I really, really enjoy uh, planning. So I'm excited for this meeting. Manager said that we'll probably meet again to do another two week sprint, but at least we'll try to get the next two weeks done. I'm supposed to start like brainstorming designs um, this week, but I didn't film that day because I can't show that anyway. So yeah, um, we'll see how the meeting goes and I'll get to share a little bit more about what we did. It's literally about 30 minutes. So we'll see how much we can get done in that time. It's been a pretty productive day. I've had to take a lot of breaks because I don't know, it's kind of like the sun makes a really big difference. And when it's not super sunny, you're tired and you don't want to do much. So I've been trying to take breaks so that that doesn't happen. And I'm still motivated to get things done. Uh, yeah, so I really want to finish a lot of this competitive research today finish looking up the different patterns, UX patterns, and why they work today uh, because I want to start on the presentation. Not something I have to present until next Friday, but I want to have it done this week because I know I'm going to start working on designs and that's going to take a while with a lot of ideations. Um, so I want to get that going this week as well. So now I'm going to get ready for this meeting, get logged on, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just finished my meeting with my manager. It's getting dark here, so I had to turn on my light um, because the lighting in here is getting bad. But we basically just broke up my project into small tasks in Jira, um, and I'll have to go in and finish that myself. It's kind of similar to my Asana that I showed you guys earlier, but for just this Cisco internship, which is wonderful. Very, very, very helpful, because I love to break things into small tasks. Otherwise, I feel really, really overwhelmed. 
So um, we just work, worked on like, what are my major milestones? How can I break them into small tasks? So if you do have internships and you don't do that with your team or your manager, I just advise you to do it yourself. Break those big tasks down into like small things. So for example, I have to design some screens, right? So I'll break things down into brainstorm session with product team. And then I'll break it down after that to design XYZ flow, design XYZ flow. Because I love the satisfaction of like checking it off and then seeing the unicorn or like whatever Jira has. I break it down really, really small and then it's like design this flow, design this flow. And, um, or like for research, I'm like looking at this competitor, um, do pros and cons, uh, find images, like just really, really small things. Um, and then before you know it, you're done and you just like knock out one at a time. And also you know what to do because I have the issue where like, I don't do that. And I basically just do a bunch of random stuff and waste my time and the day passes and I'm like, what did I do today? I don't even know. So I don't like to do that. I try to make sure that I know what I'm doing and I'm being productive. Um, and I'm not just jumping from thing to thing to thing. I'm focusing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a stretch break and then I'm gonna get back to my competitive analysis until my next meeting. It's about 5, 10. And so my internship is on the Pacific coast, but I'm on the East coast. So three hours ahead. So I have to work a little bit later because of that. And I tend to get a little bit tired. Sorry, that's my dog who's trying to get in. I tend to get a little bit tired um, when it starts to get around this time, five. So I have to take a little bit more breaks and I'm not as productive as I want to be, but I'm doing what I can. We're back. I am tired, but I'm going to keep working. So now what I'm going to do is continue on my competitive analysis that I was doing already. I'm almost done, I think, sorting out the UX patterns. I added a couple more sticky notes and I feel like I've really mined all the good data that I can get out of these resources and products from other companies so I am going to finish that because I want to have it done today and make a presentation for it maybe tomorrow or Wednesday and then start my ideation yeah I'm sorry y'all I'm tired I'm gonna put this here and get back to I'm so tired. So it's about to be six o'clock and my meeting is from six to seven and I'm hoping that it ends early. Yes, so I can make dinner and go to get in the bed or watch Stranger Things. I know I'm behind, but we're watching that. So this is with the director of UX, which is amazing, right? Like the director of UX is meeting with us, so exciting. But she's um, just talking with us about the team, the history, because we're still kind of new to our internship. We just started a few weeks ago. And so she's talking with all the new people. I'm gonna join because you don't want to be late to that meeting. So, set up my camera here. I am free! Yes! Okay, my meeting just finished. It is 7.01 and I am exhausted. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to make dinner and eat, watch some TV, and get ready for bed. Um, I'll have to finish up my competitive analysis tomorrow. There's my husband. Say hi. <laughs> Why are you smiling so hard? <laughs> oh gosh, yes, but I'm finally done for the day and I'm so tired. I realized at the end of the day that I missed a meeting. Oh my gosh, y'all. This full-time school and full-time internship thing is no joke, okay? I have to be so organized to stay on top of stuff. What happened was I had a meeting at three, like right after the class I TA'd for and noticed I didn't go. Well, I set an alarm last week for the meeting to ring every Monday at three, like 25. Apparently, 
I didn't set it for every week. I set it for just last week and so it didn't ring. And then I didn't check my Slack until hours later and realized I had missed the whole meeting. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So I have to refer to the notes. So here's Coda, I guess he missed me. Hey Coda, did you miss me? Yeah, what are you chewing? Mm. He's chewing his bear, it's Kong. It's supposed to be guaranteed to last and it didn't last longer than a week. So anyway, Coda, what is that? Is that your bear? Is that your bear? What's that, Coda? What's that? Is that from your bear? Is that from your bear? Okay, well, you know he's found something good when he lays down. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you really watching without me? What is this? It better not be Stranger Things. I heard that. <laughs> you better not. Disrespectful. I worked so hard. I deserve to watch Stranger Things. I don't know you. What? You. Why are you on my couch then? It's my couch. Boy. I bought it. I'm tired. Are you ready for dinner? Yeah, it's already 11. Oh, you. Oh. Y'all, I have the best man ever. Oh, my God. Oh, I already put that on the oven. Yeah. So we have been using these like pre-prepared meals because after waking up at like seven or eight in the morning and going to class and <sighs> taking care of this little dog and doing internship full time until like 7 p.m. I am, and also working on a master's project, which is not even a class. It's like a separate thing I have to do. I am exhausted. I'm tired, okay? So I cannot think about dinner, about cooking meals from scratch. So we have a store called Wegmans and we get pre-prepared meals. They're actually really, really good. But this time we have like Indian or something and you just put it in the oven and they're so good. So we're gonna have that for dinner. It's coconut chicken curry this isn't from Wegmans this is from Giant the saffron rice I don't know if you guys can see that yeah I hope it's good because if it's not I'm ordering a hamburger because I'm hungry and ready for bed so yeah that is a day in my life oh sorry messy kitchen as a full-time student and a full-time intern and I am going to go take a shower watch Stranger Things, eat dinner, and get ready for bed. So thank you guys. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Um, anything you want to know more about or see more about, leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer those questions. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Well, 